hello team so we saw devin the first ai software engineer and now we have different open source alternatives like devika as well as open devin too so in today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to install open devin on a windows machine and we are going to try to find out some answers from our excel sheet so for example these are the two columns which are given in my excel sheet and what i am going to do is i am going to ask it to analyze you know simple stats and let's see how it goes and find out the answer so you know this is how the interface looks like and just to make it live as such what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give you a question and i'm going to see its response as such what it tries to do so basically what it is trying to do is it's trying to find out my excel file which is uh, in our workspace so it's reading that then what it's trying to do is it's trying to install all the things which are needed to write such a program and analyze this excel file and as you can see you know it's trying to do find out the python version it is going to install th separate things like pandas open py excel to you know read this excel file and after some time it's going to give me all these stats for this file also now this is a very simple example but i have seen you know creating different charts also so what you can do is you can write a program ask it to write a program which can give some charts also so those sort of things it can do so in this example for for example for these two columns revenue and profit it gave all the stats as such uh, and this is what is generally done in our exploratory data analysis and it wrote a code also you know how to write that uh, uh, particular thing and reuse it so this is available as such and installing on your windows is uh, not an easy task it was definitely a nightmare but yeah i will try to uh, have all those steps covered so let's get started So if you are starting from scratch, probably you need multiple things. For example, you need Visual Studio Code. Uh, again, you can use other ID also, but I found it pretty easy to do. Then maybe you need Anaconda. Again, it's not necessary, but it's pretty easy to use because you don't have to set up all the environments and all, and it's preferred. So that is one thing which you can do. Then what you need is definitely uh, Git as such. So uh, Git is definitely needs to be installed because we are going to clone the repo. And the other thing which you need is Docker. So you need to install Docker. So basically the good thing is open Devin uses Docker to you know, execute things. So Docker is a must. And then other things which you need is for example, Node.js, this is for front end. So this is the major tech stack that you will need. So again, I will next show how to install things on uh, Visual Studio Code. So I have Visual Studio Code open. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to have one environment created, which we are going to use. So again, uh, if you are new to Visual Studio Code, what you can do is you can go here and you can click on command and this command will be available. So for example, I already have Conda installed. And what I can do is I can see all the files which are listed or all the environments which are listed. So for example, with Conda environment list, I can see all the environments which are there and I'm using open Devin. And how I created open Devin was, I created open Devin using some simple command like this. And if you are aware of Anaconda, you can create it like this. So for example, you can create Conda create minus n open Devin Python equals to 3.11. So it will create Python 3.11 environment. And that's how this specific, uh, you know, environment we are going to use. So what I've done is I already have created and if you can see this one, it is talking about uh, this specific environment. Now, there may be some problem if setting this thing up. So what you can do is you can just go to command parrot and you can say something like select interpreter and you can select for example open devin and in this command prompt you are going to have uh, open devin selected so that's how you are going to do it 
Now in this tutorial, what we have to do is we again have Visual Studio as well as Visual Studio Code as well as Conda already installed. The other thing which you need to do is, uh, you know, install Docker. Now, once you install Docker and it's pretty simple step, what you need to do is you need to pull a specific file and that file is nothing but, you know, uh, this specific file, which I'm just writing it down. So basically you have to pull this specific file. Again, all these steps, I will put it into, you know, some specific uh, file or maybe on GitHub so that I can share it with everyone. Or you can follow the guidelines or whatever steps have been written in the open Devin website. But yeah, I found it little uh, complex. So that's why I'm trying to explain things here. So what you are going to do is you are going to pull this uh, specific image using this command. And this will be uh, uh, this specific thing will start coming. So you will have this image pulled by Docker and it is going to be readily available. Now, post you do this step and you have everything installed, what you need to do is you need to get pull uh, open Devin as such. So what you are going to do is you are going to pull the open Devin and you are going to put it in a directory. So I will just going to show you what specific directory I have selected so that you are aware. So the directory structure that I have is I have a folder called open Devin and what I did was I wrote git clone and the path of the GitHub repository here. So that's what I did and that's why it pulled everything here. Now once I have everything here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, directory to you know uh, instantiate all the requirements files and whatever you know libraries I need to install. So the path which is there is you have something called open devil and once you have you clone it and you go to open devil so you are going to clone the open devil repository and within that open devil you have these all available and this is what is there in my visual studio code open at the left end i'm going to show it now in this uh you know repo there are multiple things which are there so one of the two folders which are important is front end and this is nothing but front end that we saw within the ui and this i'm going to cover a little late where we are going to install node and we are going to you know uh, start the ui Another repo, another folder which is important is workspace. So if you remember, I gave it, you know, some file, analyze this file and it created Python file here. So all the things which you need locally to be done, you can do it here. So all the input can be taken from this particular folder. And again, all the output that is generated or the Python code generated is generated here. I'm going to again switch back to Visual Studio Code to show the same structure. So as I said, I have a folder called open devil within this folder. There is a folder again a next folder called open devil that was, uh, you know, cloned using git command. So I use git clone open devil to get this. And this is the folder structure which I was showing you earlier. So this is the repository or this is the folder called front end. And this is the workspace that I showed where, you know, the different file is there and the thing which was generated. It's there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install, uh, you know, all the uh, libraries that are required. And again, there are two things there. So one is you need a backend and you need a front end. So for, you know, backend as such, what you need to do is you need to install few things. So I'm just going to have a walkthrough how to do it. So for example, what you need to do is you need to go to the specific repo and here is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going in the backend. So CD this one, then I'm going to go to the specific directory. Once I do it, what I can do is I can try installing things. So the first thing which I'm going to do is, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to give this specific uh, four commands. For example, you know, first of all, I will have this command executed so I'm just writing it down it, it might take some time but still it's already satisfied so first of all 
I'm just installing pip environment. And the next thing which I'm doing is again, I'm just executing this command. And once I have done it, I'm going to install few things. For me, everything is already installed, but yeah, you need to have all those things created for you. It doesn't take time because it's already installed for me, but when you give, you know, Python M pip environment install minus V, you will take time. And once it's there, if you see the last step to run the, you know, backend is nothing but running a uvcon server so basically what we are going to do is we are going to run uvcon but prior to running uvcon what i'm going to do is i'm going to write something like uh, setting my open ai key so i'm going to write something like this if you if you are seeing this now i'm going to delete this key uh, post i post this video but here is where I'm setting my OpenAI key. So this is nothing but environment variable. If you are using Linux, you need to provide export. In Windows, you need to provide set. So this is where my OpenAI key is set. Now I'm going to run UVCon. And UVCon is nothing but a backend server as such, which is going to run on a specific port. So here it, start, it is going to you know, start the backend, which contains two things. So let me wait for it to get started. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I also need to have front end done. So again, the same steps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a specific directory. Uh, again, I told you about the front end directory. So I'm going to go there. Now I need to have node already installed. And in my case, I already did it. So if you go node minus version one, you will be able to find the you know version specific version there and once it's there the step is pretty much easy so what you need to go is you need to go and type npm npm start so let me start it and now we have both the things running so i have backend running if you see on 3000 and after some time i have 3001 port also running and once I click for 3001, I will have the interface available. So everything is installed on port 3001. So backend is installed on port 3000 and the front end 3000 on the port 3001. The new thing is installed so just to check what i did was i again uh, asked it to write a python program this this time i'm not giving it simple dot xlsx what i'm going to do it is i'm going to give it a second file and just trying to find out you know can it read that file and give me the simple stats so again it has you know four columns so for example it gives state stats for region revenue profit and year so my excel contains these four columns and it gives some stats definitely for year and region it doesn't make sense for numerical variables like revenue and profit it does make sense so it give it and again as i told this file is again in the workspace directory so it read from it and it generated code also to use it so yeah it it pretty much worked so hope you enjoyed this thing again it was little complex in case you have some questions you can definitely reach out to me uh, thank you team thanks for viewing thank you so much bye